Each of these survivors lived through the unimaginable. But after seeking refuge in Britain, they dedicated their lives to educating others about the horrors of the Holocaust. I think it's very hard for us now, standing in 2022, to even imagine the horrors. When you think there's uh, one of our sitters here, Eric Hirsch, he lost 81 members of his family. You know, how that you pick up the pieces from that, how you survive, how you build a life, not of hatred, uh, not of retaliation, but actually communicating to, to the world of general that this is something we mustn't allow to happen. Many of the paintings have a small detail that tells a much bigger story, such as this portrait of Lily Ebert, where you can see a gold pendant around her neck. This necklace meant a lot to Lily. It was given to her as a child by her mother. And when she went to Auschwitz, she managed to keep it safe by hiding it in her daily ration of bread. My number is a 10, Lily still wears her necklace every day and it shines brightly on her TikTok page where she creates educational content about the Holocaust to her 1.9 million followers. TikTok seems to be the way that young people will communicate and for a 98 year old this is her way of continuing this education of the horrors of the Holocaust and her promise was that if she survived, she would tell the world about what happened. She certainly kept that promise. Seven portraits surviving the Holocaust will be open to the public until June. Indigo Stafford, STV News, Edinburgh.